Hello everyone. It's not every week that you get two midweek messages from me, but this today is a special day. The 2nd of June 1953 was that moment when Queen Elizabeth II was crowned as our monarch. She ascended to the throne on the 6th of February 1952 and 2022 marks 70 years of her reign. This is the Platinum Jubilee and over the coming weekend, um, tomorrow uh, in the Stoke Gifford Fates and then of course over the weekend on Sunday as we gather together at various services on Pentecost Sunday to mark that Platinum Jubilee. What a great opportunity to remember, uh, to pray for uh, our Queen and to give thanks to God for all that she has and continues to give as our monarch. When she was crowned at her coronation, apparently as she gathered to enter into Westminster Abbey, her robes were so heavy that she couldn't uh, get going. Having got out of the carriage, she wasn't able to take the next step. So she leaned towards the Archbishop of Canterbury and simply said the words, get me started. And he gave her a gentle nudge uh, and she was able then to uh, head down the aisle in Westminster Abbey ready for the coronation service. At another moment, the Archbishop or one of the, the, the church leaders in the coronation service gave the Queen, the young monarch, a new Bible, handed it to her and said, receive this, the most valuable thing that the world affords. She's been a person who has read scripture every single day in her life. There was a couple of moments in the coronation when the Queen was prayed for and um, the Archbishop of Canterbury, who was Archbishop Fisher, I think, prayed for the Queen and said this, may she be devoted to you, Lord, with her whole heart. Amazing to reflect back on how those prayers have been answered in Her Majesty's life. And when scripture was read during the service, they read from Psalm 141, may my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. She continues to be a person inspired by scripture and living a life of prayer. And what an example that sets for us all. So we wanna say a huge congratulations and a thank you to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II for all that she continues to do and to be uh, as our monarch. And however you feel about the monarchy today, um, some may be less enthusiastic than others, we are called to be those that pray for our leaders. And so let's take a moment now to pray for Her Majesty the Queen. Lord, on this day we pray for uh, Queen Elizabeth, that you would bless her, that you would continue to inspire her, that she might today know your hand of blessing upon her. We pray that she might turn to you once more as she seeks to read your word and to live according to it. Thank you for her leadership, for inspiring us as she does. And we ask, Lord, that we might draw closer to you, Lord Jesus, as we follow her example. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.